Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. This is Tom from Curosol.com. Today I'm going to do a video showing you what I'm going to wear for my Stitch Down Patina Thunderdome. I guess it's more like a challenge and it's a very fun challenge if you guys don't know what it is. It's basically where all the shoe nerds like me and you who's watching this video, um, we basically wear boots and shoes for six months straight and try to make the most well, best, I guess, um, patina on your shoes and basically competing with each other who wears the best. And last year I chose Benzane Engineer Boots, which was a fun pair of boots to wear. It's really nice. I love him. But it was a bit uncomfortable to begin with. And this year I wanted to choose the boots very carefully. I didn't want to do shoes. Um, I'm more boots guy. I didn't want to choose boots basically that are too uncomfortable for me. And I showed you on my previous video that I wanted to wear Stowe from Trickers, which is made of unicorn leather, which is an elk leather. Um, I have changed the boots since then because I had some other issues with it. Um, I'm going to explain to you in a bit, but these are the pair. So today is 3rd of October. I already submitted the photo with the secret code, which is um, dom word bound. My my friends thought that this was like a code to like a question or like a quiz, and he was trying to solve it. But I was like, no, no, no. This is just uh, this challenge that I'm doing. But yeah, these are Henry from Trickers, and these are the Chelsea boots or dealer boots model. Have broguing on the upper as well, and leather is snuff waxy suede or snuff waxed suede. So I need to tell you guys, this is different from Waxy Commander, which has more, I think, waxed infused to it. These are also waxed, but not as heavy as them. And I was a bit worried because these are not light colored. These are dark colored leather. So I was wondering if it's not going to create good patina uh, eventually. But um, I think I was wrong. The roll on these shoes are already coming up. And I think these will create a beautiful, beautiful patina. Similar to Waxy Commanders, these are also from CF Stead up in Leeds. And the biggest reason that I wanted to choose Chelsea boots and not Brogue boots or Derby boots, as, as you'd call them, is because it's easier to put on and off. It's very, it's, it's much quicker to put these boots compared to, let's say, six or eight inch boots with millions of uh, laces to, to tie up. And basically, I'm a lazy person, and I think these will be easier to put on and off. That's what that was my tactic number one. Obviously, I do love boots with laces and all that, but I reckon in order to put the shoes on more often, I thought that it would be nicer to have a pair of boots that you can just put on and off very easily, um, and something that's also comfortable to wear. So speaking of comfort, the previous boots that I showed you, the Stowe, had Dynite soles, but these don't. These have Vibram V-Lite soles, which looks more comfortable, and it's also squishier compared to Dynite. So I have a bit of a love and hate relationship with Dynite soles because of many reasons. It could get slippery in the UK, whether it's if it's rainy or anything like that, it could get slippery. So I didn't really want to wear Dynite soles for six months straight. Now there are pros and cons for Dynite because it does look semi-formal, more formal than these and is more work appropriate, let's say. Um, but to be honest, my work didn't really mind whatever I wear in terms of shoes. I mean, these days, not, not many workplaces really care of um, what kind of sole outsoles you have. But um, obviously these are not suitable with suits which i don't wear every day so if you wear suits every day obviously it will be better with leather soles or or dinosaurs which is a bit less uh, formal compared to leather soles anyway so these seem more comfortable and they are and they are super super comfortable and i'm very happy with the outsoles at the moment um my friends wants to go hiking this weekend and i'm contemplating if i want to bring these or not i'll update you on my instagram please check my instagram um but yeah so that this is why i chose this model and it seems like a lot of people were enjoying to see these online because a lot of people said oh great choice and um, hopefully these will create a beautiful patina and let's see how it goes this year. Very exciting competition. Thank you Stitchdown for obviously holding this competition again this year. And by the way, if you guys are wondering about the sizing, the last they used is 4444 and I went half a size down compared to my normal, let's say Nike or any sneaker size uh, that I wear or 
Uh, my brown oak is 11.5 and 4444 they usually want you to go full size down from your brown oak which in other trickers model they usually ask you to go half a size down so these are a bit wider model compared to other last um, so yeah that's my um, input for the sizing if you're interested that is and if you guys have any questions about these, please leave them in the comment section. And please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you have anything that you want to tell me, obviously go ahead. I'm always monitoring the comments. And thank you for watching this video. I'll keep you guys updated on these next month. I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.